have made my way around this power sports show. Over to Caliber. Paul, what is your role with Caliber? Uh, business unit manager. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what that entitles. Oh, so what I do is I kind of lead all the development, new product development, sales teams, uh, marketing programs, everything that has to do with just basically growing the business, supporting now, our customers. Now, Caliber is pretty big in the motorsports industry. Can you tell me a little bit about your role? Uh, well, you know, what we try to do is make uh, life easier through product development, developing products for people in the industry. We're here to support the sport and really uh, provide value through our accessories and our plastics experience. Now, you guys don't just do snowmobiling. You don't just do ATV. You don't just do boats. Yeah. You kind of do everything. Yeah, we do a lot of everything. I mean, one of the key focus in our business sector is probably snowmobiles where we got started. I mean, that's, that's kind of our, our baseline, if you will. Uh, we're the inventors of the glides, the snowmobile glides for, for trailers, and we've expanded out an entire product offering like you can see here. We also have a marine division that we do a lot of OEM stuff with, so all the big boat manufacturers that we do stuff with, and uh, some ATD products where we plan on growing. Uh, but overall, you know, our core competency is probably power sports, plastics, so we're all about plastics. Can you please take me through your boat? Yeah. New products, old products, sure. new and improved Some, products? Absolutely, yeah, right, legacy stuff. So legacy-wise, if you look at like the low pro glides, when we first developed these and they came out, it's kind of a, a bread and butter type uh, product for us. A lot of people using it, low resistance, uh, great product. Multi-glides, again, same kind of thing, except for in here. You know, your carbide's gonna float on top of the rails rather than here. So if some person uh, wants a little bit of flexibility, they use a the trailer for other things, they're gonna actually use the low pro glides to give them a little bit more accommodation. Uh, we came out with uh, the grip glides for some of those lower cost uh, options guys that wanna have uh, less money into the products and stuff. This basically, they separate about 10 inches apart. They're gonna get traction and glide uh, with their carbides for the trailers. And then, uh, so if these are glide options, here we go over to uh, traction options. So underneath the track, we've got two uh, really good options. The tracks mats, which are all rubber, and the grips. And the grips uh, work great for guys that got big paddle tracks and things of that nature. Um, and these are a couple of new products. So if you look at the legacies, if you look at some new stuff in the last couple of years, the low pro grip glides, which has become a real hit uh, for consumers, is great for uh, tilt trailers, and it's really good for doors on enclosed trailers. So people that have traditionally been walking out with their boots and have hit our products and, and hit the ground actually, it's kind of funny. So uh, that gives you traction and glide. Carbides ride inside, traction for your feet, traction for an ATV, all kinds of things. The Edge Glide, which is uh, a new product we, la we launched uh, mid last year, has really taken off. Now here's a product that has uh, a real small product that has a lot of value. People have been hitting the edge of their trailer and going flying over their handlebars like crazy. We came out with this. We've got two versions. One is uh, the hinge version for a closed trailer, so it just flips up and you close your door. Uh, or the standard version, which actually just mounts right on the edge of your trailer, so it tilts when your trailer tilts. No. So two real successful things for people, low cost options. Now, where can consumers get your products? So we go through all the major distributors in the power sports industry. So Parts Unlimited, Western Power Sports, uh, Marshall, uh, Kimpex up in Canada, um, Sled Flow Distributing in Canada. Uh, we go through quite a few different uh, distributors and they all channel over to all your dealers. So basically at any dealership, you should have direct access to our products. And then people can also purchase products online? Um, any oh, online no. sales are going to be through the dealers. Okay. Yep. So, so we don't sell the consumers, we don't sell the dealerships. We uh, basically train our, our sales force out at the distributor level to get our job done for us. So how important is it that you are at a show like this? It's super important. I mean, I think the big thing is we want to be here to support the industry, to give people a feeling of, hey, we're not here to sell you stuff, we're here to provide technical assistance and give you options to make your life easier while you're enjoying the sport. Caliber is going to show me this super, super cool, unique feature that they have just added to their website. Unique to them, unique to their industry. Walk me through this. Awesome. What do you guys yeah. have going on? So this is another thing that I wanted to talk about earlier. Actually, very, very excited about this product. This is not necessarily a product. It's a sales tool. It's a tool for the consumer, a tool for the dealer, a tool for the distributors, a tool for everybody. So. I'll walk you through the configurator. And this is just online? This is online. You go to a website, you go to our website, and you're going to click on the configurator and you're going to see these options. But basically, the reason why we developed this is because we were laying out trailers, decking out people's trailers for them, and it took us 20 minutes, half hour, even 40 minutes. I don't care how good you are at math, it takes a lot of time to figure out how much product you need to deck out your trailer. 
consumers are really concerned about ordering too much product and wasting or ordering not enough and having to go back to the dealership. So this caused a lot of challenges for us as a team to filter out and make the consumer happy. So, so I have this. Yeah. at home in my driveway, 20 foot enclosed trailer. Let's do it. Let's, let's check it out. Okay. So we're going to go to the trailer. Now we have this set up for both, well for all three. We've got an open tilt trailer, an open V front trailer, or an enclosed trailer. So let's plug an enclosed trailer. You said you had a 20 footer? It's actually 24, but. Okay, let's go to 24. So you're gonna click on 24 and you're gonna see how that expands out. So now you know that you've got a five foot V and a 24 foot base. You know exactly what your trailer like is and we'll go through the options. So we go through deck glides. That red is gonna highlight a little bit about so this, where you're actually putting product. exactly what I can do. Right. With everything you, with everything you offer. Exactly, so our entire product line is on here. If you click on the low pro narrow, you're gonna see it up here. When I toggle down through these options, oh, you're actually gonna see. Over there. Yeah, exactly. Which is the key is people really like the ability to get feedback on what their trailer is going to well, look that's like. Total visualization. I mean, this is exactly how it's going to look. Exactly. Well, that and you're going to get the math done for you. So let's say that uh, you've got questions about low pro narrow versus multi glide. And, you know, you can hit this info tab. It's going to go through all the options and kind of tell you what the benefits are, what the, what some considerations are to make uh, when you're looking at which product to pick up. Um, everything's right off to the tab. So it's just a little toggle. So let's just say for your trailer, uh, we want to go with low pro wides, which is a pretty big option for us on our main decks. If you go to ramp door glides, this is going to highlight the areas on both the front and the back ramp, and we're going to do low pro grip glides. Now here's a product that's really successful because we're eliminating the concerns about people slipping and falling. Okay. We're giving the ability to get up real nice and easy with ATVs and stuff. It's been a big seller for us. Deck traction, we can roll here. A lot of people like Strax mats. If you wanted to go to grips, it's going to tell you what you need for grips. Either way, it's kind of consumer's choice on that one. Ramp doors, we see a lot of people going at the grips, so they get a little bit of uh, traction when they're coming in and out of their trailers. They really like that. Additional options. Here's the things that really helps people know what products are available that they didn't know about. So maybe they didn't really read a certain article or they didn't hear about this. Flex glides. Okay, I'm going to put these in my trailer. They're going to pop out right there. That's gonna be the lows, that's gonna be the highs. Now I can actually drive out of my trailer without having to pick up my snowmobile and move it around. What a nice little feature. Edge Glides, our signature product from last year. Been a big popular product. We're gonna eliminate the need to have to throw down a two by four or anything else to go flying over your handlebars. People have constantly come back and said, thank you, thank you for getting this product out. Got four of them, all stainless steel, lifetime warranty like all of our products for 40 bucks Everything, or less. Every product you offer is a lifetime warranty? Our entire product line is a lifetime warranty, that's correct. Oh. Yeah, we stand behind our products, we stand behind to support the consumer, absolutely. Now, does this price this out too? This does not price it out, which, and the reason why, so here we're gonna hit the print preview button. Here's the beauty, you have got a full customization thing laid out for you, basically a deck that's uh, telling you what product numbers you need and what the quantities are. All the math is done. And that's why uh, we love this so much. And then we bring this to our local You can bring it to a local dealer. dealer. You can buy uh, uh, some, there's some products that are online that you can buy. There's a lot of different venues and different ways to get our products. But almost every, if not every dealership in the United States and Canada should have our stuff. So this is as hands-on as you can get. That's about as good as we can get. And you guys even have examples your products are for use. Absolutely. Show me any of this. Oh yeah, like this is our V-front ramp shield. We came out with this uh, about two years ago. And how much is something like this cost? This, this, this year is retailing for $4.99, um, but you go through the different distributors and dealers, you can get it down to as low as about $3.99. So basically you're gonna get everything that comes here, all stainless hardware, lifetime warranty. That's the one big thing about Calibers. We really want people and consumers to feel good about their purchase. We have a lifetime warranty in our entire product line. So if they have problems with the product, they can contact our, us and we'll make sure they're taken care of. But yeah, in this case, this is a product that was developed uh, in consideration of shipping. You know, this entire unit will ship in a box that's 31 by 31 by 17, so a consumer doesn't have to spend $100 on shipping a shield. Okay. In that case, it's about $40 to ship it anywhere in the United States, so it's really nice. People really love this product. Got a lot of good write-ups on it. So that's Caliber, you guys. Check them out. They're all around. If you got questions, contact them. Thank you, Paul. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.